Good morning, Mama. Good morning. What's the matter? Here. Good morning, everyone. This is Amy, the 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. Happy Friday morning. It's an early one. It's been a little bit since I've done an, done an update on baby cakes, so I wanted to do a little quickie. Um, she's up here with me now eating breakfast. She's an older girl that we pulled from Miami-Dade, um, full of arthritis, <clears throat> heartworm positive. She was to be euthanized, and we pulled her to give her the chance at a better life with love. <clears throat> Happy Friday. She is the easiest, low-maintenance dog ever. She doesn't bother anybody. She's just pure love. She's grateful for every little thing. She loves to have her breakfast up here with me. Um, then she'll roam the yard. Good morning. She is slowing down. Definitely slowing down. Some mornings she has a lot of energy. Um, gallops like a pony. Majority of the time she just sleeps. She lives to eat. Although we're trying to cut back a little bit as much as we hate to because the excess weight is not good on her joints. What, Mama? Are you a happy girl? Are you happy? We don't truly know how old she is. Um, the shelter labeled her 10 or 11. She could be 10, 11, 12, 13. We don't know. But she's living every day the best with love unconditionally, good food, attention, affection, Lots of massages and kisses. That's all we can do for her. Nobody has ever stepped up to give her a forever home. So she's with us because that's what rescues do. Um, she's not stuck in boarding. She's in her own place. She has her own fluffy beds, air conditioned. Um, she is able to let herself in and out as she pleases because that's the only thing that makes her happy. She was definitely an outside dog. No question about it. She hates to be contained for any length of time. Huh, Mama? What? Tell everybody. Say good morning. Just a good girl eating her breakfast. So I wanted to share. Happy Easter to all of you. Happy Passover, whatever you celebrate. <clears throat> We will be here with the babies all weekend, celebrating anything and everything. Every holiday is with them. Good girl, mama. Go take a walk. Good girl. You can see she's slow. She just got out of bed literally right before I started this video and she just got her uh, meds. And she'll take her time and I'll probably keep her up here with me for about an hour. Um, I know she's, uh, she's on her gabapentin. She's on anti-inflammatory um, caprofen. Uh, she is also, we gave her some Clavamox antibiotics because we hear her wheezing a little bit. The, uh, dangling tumor we've had checked out. It's nothing to be concerned about, but we can't put her under any kind of anesthesia while she is in this condition. It could cost her her life. So... She's lived with it for God knows how long. This is what happens when dogs receive no medical. I've been doing updates on the page, um, just showing you, you know, randomly, like Joey's doing phenomenal. Joey's getting ready to go into his eye surgery Monday. I just got off the phone with his mommy, Janet. He's doing fantastic, like beyond words. She hasn't left his side for a second. And, um, good girl, good girl. We are still looking for homes for many of our rescue dogs. So we keep sharing their photos. <clears throat> we still have puppies available. 
um, Mommy uh, Jolie's puppies. We still have Mommy Jolie. We have Archie. We have Boss, Cosita Sparky. And um, we also have Sheldon. Um, and all the dogs at House One are still there. But we're going to keep sharing and sharing until we can find homes, forever homes, for all of the amazing rescue dogs that we have under our care. So please, if you are looking to adopt, please don't hesitate to reach out to us or if you are able to foster to allow us to make room. Every rescue I know is completely full to capacity. There's just no words of how many dogs are out there on the streets, um, how many dogs are in the shelters that are facing death because... It's a rough time right now. I don't. I, I do know what's happening. It's housing, and people are losing their homes, uh, going into rentals, and rentals are are basically eliminating. Take it easy, Mama. Uh, rentals are are stopping people that have animals because they have their pick of the crop. Basically, they can have anybody they want because th there's no rentals, and they're so high in in price that people are having a hard time. So. With all that being said, it's it's tough, I know. Um, donations are definitely down for everybody. So remember, our organization can only continue with your love and support. And I'll just leave it there. Um, if you can, the donate button is on this video. Remember, we still have Heidi fighting for her life at Coral Springs. Um, the little Yorkie that's two years of age, five pounds. She is improving slowly. But she's also, um, everybody was questioning the bill. You can question it all you want. It is what it is. And we don't have an option. So we're looking at 17000 and climbing for Heidi. And sadly, her daughter, Majesty, that passed away. But we still have that bill to pay. Um, so $17,000 is a lot of money. A lot of money. We are not even close to being at our goal. We've brought in about maybe eight, 9000 out of the 17,000. So we are a long, long way away from covering the bill. And it's still growing because that was for four days of treatment. And as you know, she was brought in on Saturday. Today's Friday. Um, so all I can do is share, ask for help because that's what we have to do to continue this mission. And if you do support, we thank you. Um, every single penny counts. And I can't reiterate enough how important it is for people to come together and make any kind of small contribution so we can continue. Hi, Mama. I know. Good morning. Yes. You're a happy girl this morning. See, I'm happy every day, Amy. I'm just happy to be alive. No, she's not dizzy. That's just she walks like that because of arthritis. Hey, <laughs> why? Why, you want to play? Are you trying to play? You getting frisky? Are you frisky, girl? I'm going to get you. There she goes. Mommy, go slow. Go slow, Mommy. You don't have to show off for all your supporters. They love you anyway. You don't have to show off, Mama. She's adorable and sweet and grateful. I would love to see her with a person, love it more than anything, but nobody stepped up. Nobody is stepping up. You know, she doesn't require anything. She requires just love, a bed, able to take herself in and out of a doggy door. Um, that's it, that's it. Everything we give you, if you are willing to open up your home, she would do best with no other animals. <laughs> Hi, mommy, she really would. So people say, can't you put another dog in with her? No, we can't. Unfortunately, we wish we could. We'd save another life in a heartbeat. A heartbeat. She likes to be the one and the only. Good morning. So I'll be back up and running. I figured I will do little video clips throughout the day. Um of all the babies and right now I'm gonna go spend some great quality time with this beautiful girl baby cakes who is still waiting again still waiting for a place to call home but until that day comes if it ever comes always stay hopeful um, she will be here with us
she's, she's a princess. All of our rescues are treated like this with the most unconditional love, best food, best medical, best comforts, right, mommy? We don't pull dogs to put them in kennel environments. Um, we've worked very hard throughout the years to eliminate that in boarding. We will not pull a dog to put it in a boarding unless we have um, you know, a place for the animal, a foster, an adopter. Never, ever lose hope, Karen, never. Thank you for your stars, Marcy Cohen. Now she's cooking. <laughs> Annette. And there's Miss Mommy Jolie, who I just don't even understand. Jolie! <coughs> Mommy! I had her out this morning. We were walking the yard. She had her breakfast. Hello, beautiful girl. This baby is the most perfect 13 to 15 pound dog in the world. I can't even explain to you. I was with her this morning, Jolie, and I was saying, I anybody that gets this girl is going to be so lucky. Just like I said it about Joey, you know, and I repeated it over and over and over again. And sure enough, Joey is in the home of a dream come true. A dream. Mommy, where'd you go? There you are, peekaboo. You made all gone, Mommy. No more foods. No more foods. Good morning. Yeah, she needs a yard. And I'm going to do a video of her and show you later. You'll understand. Anybody that says, but I can work on walking. No, you don't understand. <laughs> you don't understand. I would I would not stop a dog from going to a home um, if it would work. Jolie must have a yard. Must. So again, um, if you are interested in offering the baby cakes, a loving home, requirements are a fenced yard, a doggy door where she can let herself in and out, and no other animals. That's it. Love her forever. Right, Mama? Say, I the best princess there is. I happy girls. Happy girls. There she goes. Doing her morning gallop around the yard. I'm going to go spend time with her. Please make a donation, please. And I thank you all so much in advance for your love and ongoing support for our mission. But I will be back up and running, like I said, throughout the morning, throughout the day with every one of our babies that are looking for a home. Um, have a great morning. Happy Friday. See you soon, everyone.